Hi guys, Hyperlato here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some gameplay from Vanilla Bad Company 2. What I wanted to talk to you about in this video is uh, something that Mass Def said in uh, the DRMB podcast where he atten attended. Uh, he said that he thought it was a bad thing oh, no. that Bad Company 2 auto balance the games uh, if you die in the middle of a match. So, I'm not sure if... I think he was the one that bought the game right before the summer of last year. So he wasn't there around when, the ba uh, when it came out, if I'm not mistaken. And I, I'm about to say I was. I was in the, in the start. And then the game didn't auto-balance in the middle of matches, only at the end of the matches. And this... And that was really annoying because what would end, uh, what ended up happening was that um, a team might get very unbalanced at some point because of rage quitting, for example, and the games wouldn't even the teams wouldn't even out after the um, uh, after the, some of the people had rage quit. So what you would end up with were a team would say just four to six players against the team with 16 players and as you might imagine those are not fair odds so the whole rest of the match would be ruined for one of the teams and I for one I always if I see the teams are uneven I always switch teams because I don't find it that fun to play against an uh, uh, inferior team to be honest I'm mean, it's much more fun to play on the inferior team trying to take on the big guys than the uh, than the other way at least for me, that presents a challenge, which I find fun. So, I would always switch teams, but that wouldn't be enough uh, in almost any case. So, it really just ended up making matches really boring. And, well, I, w <laughs> I was really happy when they finally put it in, uh, put in all the balancing in, in the middle of a match to even out the teams if it became necessary, because it was really needed. Of course, the, uh, the auto balance at the end of the match is still there, but what I think is missing is the ability uh, or the game balancing the players based on skill. So while the game should take into account that you may be playing with friends, and it should see that if you're playing with one of your, your friends from your friends list, you shouldn't separate uh, them from the teams, and it doesn't do that now. And it shouldn't do that at any point, but what it should do is look at the players at the end of the match and f and see which ones are the best and put them on on different teams. And if possible, if they see one squad doing it really well, they should uh, make that uh, make the players from that squad go on different teams unless they're friends. Why should they do that? Because if a squad is really superior to any of the others, that shows that they are actually playing well together. And of course, this game is all about team play and playing with your uh, for your team and not as a lone wolf. But the thing is, if one team has a far superior squad to any other, it really makes the game or the match unbalanced. And uh, some of the servers that I play against actually has a rule against playing with tactics that make the game unbalanced whether you actually are not allowed to use tactics that make the uh, teams very unbalanced and very uneven so I really think that that should be a thing they could do to kind of balance out the teams because sometimes you play against a team you're getting walked over then you get into the next match and suddenly, you're getting walked over again because they haven't changed the teams. It should be so that the next match the team should be quite even so that you won't get a server that's just half full because a lot of people rage quit because of the uneven teams. And of course, it's just bad sportsmanship to rage quit in at all, but still, it's, it's really just, it just makes for, for a bad playing experience. So I, r I really think that they should uh, put more more um, 
weight or more focus on players that are good or play good and really p uh, watch out for for um, making uh, watch out for teams that can get very unbalanced and make for bad gameplay so this uh, I really haven't more to say on uh, on that topic so what I can do here is actually talk a little bit about the gameplay now as you can see I've edited edited uh, edit, edited out large parts of it because of um, the length of the game this game in total was about 20 minutes long so I, I thought that was a bit too long for a video so I've cut off some of the parts where I just run around trying to find people or just uh, where I'm just sitting on the flags capping them so this is actually one of my better gameplays uh, at the end I go 31 and 11 which is probably which is one of the high scores I have um, and uh, what I really try I'm trying to do here I, I well I've really fallen in love with the um, the uh, the engineer kit because of the silenced weapons so right now I'm using the UMP which is probably the best uh, SMG if you want a kind of all-round gun it's it shoot doesn't shoot very quick but it's very accurate and it does a fair amount of damage so it's kind of the all-round weapon um, so that's what I'm currently using but I'm playing around with, with some of the other SMGs too like the PP2000 which is a, which is a highly underrated gun and uh, the XMA compact which fires really fast and reloads the fastest of the SMGs. So, I um, so in this gameplay, I'm basically just running around trying to cap flags and keep a good pressure on the other on the other team. And yeah, and the reason that I'm loving the engineer kit is because of my ability to take out tanks and vehicles fairly easy with the with my rocket launcher of choice and I also have the silenced weapon which makes me able to kind of uh, to be a sneaky beaver and um, do some damage on the other team without the teammates of a sh uh, without teammates knowing that I'm there so I may go in in a crowd and take out the guys one by one and the other team might not notice at once because of the weapon being silenced and he can't really hear me also, it kind of um, hides the mus muzzle flash when you're shooting, so you are not as easily spotted when sitting behind cover or shooting through windows or something like that. So, um, <laughs> right, I'm trying to avoid the bullet bullets. Um, so that's what I really like about the, the engineer kit. And of course, I always run extra ammo when I'm running this because of the. I actually have some long lives, and sometimes I really need the extra ammo. So that's it for the gameplay, and um, I'll leave you guys with that. I hope to see you next time. Snuckis.